Hey, hey, good weekend, everybody. Hope you're doing well. You got Lyle here coming for my weekend shave. First off, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Hope you've been safe. Hope you're enjoying Super Bowl Sunday. A little Sailor Jerry's water for me tonight. It is a late, late shave for me, but that's okay. As I said, Super Bowl Sunday. Hope you enjoy the game. Let me know who you're hoping to win, either the Chiefs or the Buccaneers. Um, <laughs> This will probably be posted after the game anyways, but I'd be curious to see what you guys are cheering for. So, cheers to you. Mm. <laughs> Hang on, chunk of ice in my mouth, sorry guys. So for today's shave, I'm revisiting the soap that I just love. Island Springs Forge. Tallow base, the newest release. Great scent, um, tobacco, bergamot, vetiver, lemon, citrus, tonka bean, and musk. To me, very well blended, people pleaser scent. I don't think anybody would be offended by the scent or overwhelmed by it either. You know, it's, I mean, it's a light, strong, just a little ways below medium scent. It's very good, I quite enjoy it. Um, get compliments on it. So, it's a wonderful soap. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the soap today. You know I love Highland Springs. Uh, you know I think Chris and Mary have an amazing product. And they're great people too. Um, I have it all kind of pre-whipped up here for you. In my Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. With my FB Synthetic. Uh, AP Shave Go 28 2 Band. 2 Bad, sorry. Get this going to the face. Big Bill Loop. <laughs> right under the chest. So hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you had a good week. I was definitely ready for this past week to be over with. And I spent three hours at Costco today. Hence the late shave. And I'm over it. <laughs> By far. Um, there's no doubt in my mind I was stopping myself near rum on the way home. I know I could have bought rum at Costco, but they didn't have Sailor Jerry's or Kraken, and I know those are my two favorite. Oh man. So all the weather's okay where you guys are too. It is freaking freezing here, man. We're back in the Canadian weathers, uh, winters, sorry. It's uh Pushing minus 50 with the wind chill. I think it's like minus 34, minus 35, plus the wind chill. It's like minus 47 or something like that. But the car started, not plugged in, and three hours in Costco. Had my coffee, my Contingo cup, travel mug. And I didn't want to take it into the store, so I left it in there. Son of a bitch, it was still warm when I came out three hours later. It was a nice surprise after a shitty three hours in Costco. So, oh yeah. I'm gonna add just a touch more for fun. It has the amount of money I spent in Costco today. I could have bought a Max Sprecher custom razor. It's insane what I spent in that place. I should buy freaking shares or something in it. I'll do that in two to three weeks. It just drove blows my mind. Okay. We should be good to go with this. <laughs> Let's clean this up a little bit, guys. I got a big bloop right here in front of me too on the counter, so I'm being a little careful and calm and simple with that so I don't get it all over my pants. In fact, give me one second, I'm just gonna clean it off. Quite a bit on the floor too. That was a big, big blue. <laughs> I love this soap. It's a great product, great people, like I said. So for the blade today, we're deviating from the straight again. Uh, my buddy Kelly uh, came over, we'd want some stuff from Straight Gold Shaving. He ordered some other stuff, so he brought me um, what I'd won, which is Colonel Conk uh, Aftershave Lotion Unscented. We'll try that today. But he also brought me something I could try. He brought me his Hanson razor. So you know I have to use it. 
Now, I am, I know I'm like months, like six months, seven months behind the game on this, but you guys know I'm not a huge DE guy. But there it is, it's the aluminum model. It's what they've classified as the men model. I forgot to write down the blade gap on it. Top of it as a go. I love the two-tone color on it, looks really nice. Um, get some warm water on it here. In this, I have gone with Astra Superior Platinum. I've never been a massive fan, fan of these blades. Um, my Naysats, yeah, Naysats, Voss Cods, Gillette Wingers, um, many different blades I take over there normally, but it's what they show on the website. And like uh, CDB says, I want to kind of try it with the blade that comes with it. And so here we go. Let's get this with the grain and see what I feel like it. Very smooth. Not used to that blade angle. It does seem to clog up a lot quicker. Than other blades I'm used to. Um, Trying to remember to keep that exact angle. As you guys know from the head, it kind of forces you into that angle there. So. I kind of like to roll my wrist and keep the angle I like, so. I have to get used to that. Very, very light. Uh, I forgot to check out the weight, but I'll put it up for you guys. Yeah, it's, it feels weird in the hands being so light. Extremely smooth, no blade feel at all. Uh, the blade's actually doing very well in there. Very easy first pass. Um, first impressions so far is very mild. Um, I really hate to see how mild the lady one is that I call it. I think we should, I don't think they should call it lady or men's or blah blah blah. I think they should just label it by blade lap or least aggressive, medium. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go into their other new offering, which is bleed the titanium, it's apparently more aggressive or more blade gap than the other two. So I'm not sure I agree with the labeling or the categorization of it, but. Whatever works for them, I guess. <laughs> soap. We're going to save the soap that I haven't said in all my past videos. I'm going to spray rocks it, in my opinion. Like I said, my only knock with this soap, this particular release, the forge. Personally, I like it. I like it amped up a little bit. I don't usually have to say that about Highland Springs. Uh, it's usually a really nice sense strength. It's just still a good sense strength. It's just I like mine a little stronger. Uh, I talked to Chris about it, of course, and he said it's just the nature of this scent. He really couldn't get it much stronger. So, whatever. It's nice. I enjoy it. <laughs> Cross the grain. You know, my, uh, what this razor is making me think of. Honestly, it's my father-in-law. My father-in-law recently got back into 
what tune? And I gave him a few raises just to try. I think I mentioned this before. And some vintage Gillettes and I threw them just for giggles. I didn't think he'd like it. But um, the Razor, or sorry, the Rockwell, um, is it the R1, the El Cheapo thing? That happened to be his favorite just by aggressive feel. But um, I lent him a car here the other night and I gave him a Thirsty Badger Blather Bowl and an AP Shave Co. Um, 24 millimeter brush. It's a Sinbad knot. You guys will notice that one's no longer in my den. Won't be showing up anymore. I loved it, but I wanted him to have a nice synthetic knot. Low maintenance. And uh, he's loving it. I lent him my carve. And he really enjoyed that too. So, this just makes me think of, you know, people that are starting out, forcing them into a blade angle. Um, may not be a bad thing. And get them to, because once you get out of this blade angle with this thing, it really doesn't seem to want to cut. You know, once you're out of that plane, it doesn't want to cut. And I'm finding myself, I am, just because I'm used to moving my hand how I want it with some of my other razors and that kind of stuff. I'm having to go back a few times, especially considering I'm, I'm moving that plane. Um, other nice thing about it, there's no tabs coming out. I don't care, but I know for newer, new people or some people like, like, that's flush. So you can't catch that and accidentally nick yourself with those either, which can happen and I'm proof of that many times. <laughs> Like I said, that uh, is an aluminum made razor. Um, all manufactured design in Canada. It's made out of, uh, I believe, the same plant or a plant that does mix materials for the Marv Rover, Mars Rover, sorry, and aircraft, that kind of stuff. It has very tight tolerances, as I understand. It has to be within, uh, I wrote it down here, five ten thousandths of an inch to pass and that's even after anodizing so they hold up to very very high tolerances which is nice you know especially for a razor this price i think it's around 65 canadian 50 us comes with five pack of blades it's free shipping at those prices anywhere in north america uh, if i do remember correctly i mean that's a it's a deal for this razor really it feels really quality made um like i said it's just probably not being locked into that angle. It's probably something experienced guys won't like so much. I don't really care. It annoys me a bit, but again, I'm getting used to it. First impressions, first time using it. Kelly dropped it off yesterday. Uh, I'd already shaved. So today's the perfect day or get to share it with you guys. And because I believe it's either neutral blade exposure or maybe negative, I have to check. I feel very extremely non-threatening, I guess. Like I feel like a buff for hours here and I wouldn't cut myself. The pressure I'm getting used to, like I said, it's a very, very light razor. I'm not used to that. But it's not tough to. It's very intuitive to use, actually. Except for, again, remembering to be set into that angle. But otherwise, I'm having zero issues with it. Very nice shape going on here. Very, very nice shape. And again, the good residual slickness there and initial slickness from Highland Springs, more incapable of buffing away, no big deal. Very, very 
Smith. I think that's kind of uh, the thing with this razor. It's very, 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 very smooth. Ridiculously smooth. <laughs> Wow. Let's do a quick check here, guys. That's a nice DFS shave. It's late in the day. Um, I think I'm going to leave it, actually. So I'm going to do my rinses and clean up my gear. and be back for the pool shave, everyone. All right, I'm back. Cheers to you guys. Got a lot of rum and water. Very good. Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Warm water rinse. Cool water rinse was done. I did do a little touch up right there. Um, this is not BBS. This is DFS. Between DFS and BBS is what I'll call it. <laughs> Very nice. I did not reopen this slice right here, which was good. I was playing with a new edge I put on a blade yesterday and Sharp enough. That one's sharp enough to cut, but not smooth. So I'll fix it up. So for the pull shape today, Matching Highland Springs Forge Splash. Very, very nice. Mm, lovely, lovely scent. I can't think of an occasion where you couldn't wear this. You can wear it for daytime, just regular stuff. You could wear this. Church probably even it's not that strong. You know they'll smell you, but I don't think it would upset anybody. It wouldn't be overpowering. Uh, you could wear it to work. You could wear it anywhere. I think this would. This is just an excellent daily driver scent. In my opinion. That's very nice. Feels very good in the skin. Quite enjoying that. Um. Yeah. So conch all natural aftershave balm. Haven't used this before. I try that much. Don't need it with the Highland Springs. It's a great splash, but I want to try this new product out, so why not? Seems to absorb pretty good. Uh, my skin wasn't completely dried up by that splash, and this feels really nice. Feels really nice, actually. It's a nice, nice, nice balm. Nice to add it to my uh, my den. I think it'll be in my in my top three or four balms for sure. Probably top three. That feels really nice. All right. So, Hanson Aluminal Razor. Initial thoughts. Mild, very mild, non-threatening, uh, very smooth. Easy to buff with over and over again. Um, you will have to do buffing. I agree with people saying that. Like there's no way you can get clean in one pass with this thing, or like just your three pass without a lot of cleanups and a lot of buffing. Um, but that's not a big deal. I don't think it'll cut you. I don't think it'll cause you a lot of irritation as long as you watch your weight. Um, biggest annoyance for me is trying to keep on this angle. I do want to move it a little bit. Caused me some problems there. You guys probably saw it coming up against the neck. Um, but I figured it out and overall I'm very happy. With the result, I love the look of the razor. I think it's a great value. Um, it even actually gave me a good shave with blades I don't normally like. Drafts, trash peas. You guys can flag me for that after. Uh, so, I would recommend it. I will recommend this to guys. Especially, maybe not if you're a seasoned guy, uh, but newer people or people looking for something that's milder. I think that's a great, great option. And the build quality seems to be amazing on this. So, there's my thoughts. So you saw me use Island Spring Soap Co. Forge, soap and splash, amazing products, top tier in my opinion. Uh, Chris and Mary Salt of the Earth people just love them. 
and uh, they make awesome products. So, what do you want me to say about them? My Thirsty Badger Blather Bowl, my new one. The uh, mayor, Jared's gone to uh, naming his bowls now after artists. So, that's that one. <laughs> VFB brush. I love this thing with the AP Shape Girl Two Bed Knot. Stormtrooper water mug. And, oh yes, almost forgot. Colonel Conk, after shaded bomb. Cheers to you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed the game today. And uh, I look forward to your comments below. Just drop a comment what you thought of the game, what you thought of my shade, what your thoughts are on the Hanson, what your thoughts are on any of these products, any questions you have about them. I appreciate it. If you just hit 400 subs to I see, which is awesome. I'm Happy as hell about that. I dropped three subs yesterday. I thought, oh crap, here we go again. Uh, so I'm very stoked that we've made 400. And I, will, I think when we get to 500, we're going to have to make a pretty good giveaway for you guys. So I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for your time for watching me and your comments all below. So cheers to you guys. Happy shaving, everyone. I'll see you next weekend.